Hi, here I am at my cabin on the southern shore, our cabin on the southern shore, the Blue Peter. Um, and this is where, this is the scene of where one of my recitations takes place. And it's a true story. Uh, we had a Newfoundland, we had, we've actually had two Newfoundland dogs, but our first Newfoundland dog was a big male. He was a uh, large beast, lovely dog, very sweet personality. He was about 140 pounds. So he loved to come to the cabin. Uh, where he was the king of the castle. Uh, he'd get out of the truck and then he'd go off to the neighbors and see what he could uh, bomb from them. And then he'd come and he'd plop down here on the floor of our cabin. And anybody who came or went, he greeted them. And of course, any food that fell off the table or he was able to poach from somebody, he would gladly gobble up. So this uh, particular uh, story takes place on New Year's Eve a number of years ago when we still had our beloved dog. And um, there was a lot of roast left over that night. We had a big feast, a big meal, a bunch of our friends over. There was a lot of roast left over. And, uh, you know, my husband, Jim, he was only going to have one plate of supper because he figured after the fireworks were over and everything was done, he was going to have a big snack around 1 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, Jim's plan didn't quite work out because one of our good friends who was here with us at the time wasn't a dog person and didn't realize that... You shouldn't lay things outside where a dog can sometimes get at them. Anyway, this is a true story, and the name of our dog was Bacaloo, and so I call this recitation Bacaloo. It's on uh, my upcoming album that's going to be released sometime soon, so watch out for it, and I hope you really enjoy it. And here's my recitation, Bacaloo. A canine of such proportion, he could sweep the room with one great motion, of his mighty tail and majestic lion's mane, all efforts to restrain him would be in vain. He struck a noble silhouette with his jet black coat and sheer egress, a Newfoundland, a noble hound, weighing in at 140 pounds. This pooch he loved to go to Cape Royal, for the blue Peter he dearly enjoyed. When he would hop out of the truck, off to the neighbors he would muck. He'd make his rounds and when he'd won, with his recognizance all done, on the cabin floor he'd plop to catch a treat if it should drop. On New Year's Eve, that fateful day, how this lucky pooch, if I might say, would be so fortunate as to discover the treat that would outdo all others.